In March 2011, Ryan Phillips, director of the Belize Raptor Research Institute, and Ronnie Martinez, conservation officer for Blancano Lodge, began a quest to locate a Stygian owl nest in the Mountain Pine Ridge area in the Cayo district of Belize. Ryan and Ronnie radio tagged two adult male Stygian owls in December 2010. They have now returned to the area to try and locate a nest. It would be only the second Stygian owl nest found in Belize and the first to be studied in depth. Using radio telemetry equipment, the first step in finding the nest is to relocate the tagged adults. Man, where are these guys? We'll find them. Ooh, nice area. The team drives through known Stygian owl habitat, stopping frequently to search and listen. While no signal is received, some Stygian owl evidence is found, pellets, or remains of their prey. Bird, nice bat skull. Excellent. Yeah, I didn't check for pellets. There's some blue feathers in there too. Looks like uh, bunting or yeah, bunting. Bunting, yeah. A lot of pellets in there. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, see, that's why. Insects. Termites. Yeah, that's why I don't like Look at that. This is a beetle right here, and then a bat. This is a stingy and owl pellet. So this is a spruce site that's been used frequently. There's lots of pellets. There's more bats down here. There's another bat skull. Oh yeah. So they eat primarily passerine birds and bats and some insects. So that's what we got here. There's a bat ear right there. Yeah. It's nice. Looks like bunting on this one. Those blue feathers. Mm -hmm. yeah, these are all old. These are all really old. This guy's been using this site for a while. Yeah, there's a beak. Looks like a bunting beak. Yeah, we were seeing 70% birds they're feeding on. Mm. 20% or 25% bats and then the rest insects, mm -hmm. a couple lizards and then like one frog. One frog, yeah. Okay. The search for the tagged owls continues. But even with the help of radio telemetry, there's a lot of ground to cover and lots of locations to check. It's farther away. But the time after time, no signal. Until... This is good news. <laughs> That's positive. That's positive. The adult male Stygian owl, designated as 034, uh, is located. Probably, right, huh? probably by the we same should, spot where we um, tried the other day. We should triangulate from the tower. Let's get a point now, get a bearing. He's close. Say, maximum. 5K. Which direction? Oh, 
hang on, let me change frequency. It's 34. So, Three oh seven. Three oh seven, yeah. Right at the race site. Dead on the race site. Really? Yeah. Oh you wanna go you wanna walk? Yeah, let's back? go check it out. There is a mix of private and public land in the Mountain Pine Ridge. George Headley is the owner of Bull Run Overseas Limited, Mount Pleasant Farm, the area where Stygian Owl 034 has been located. The team stops check to check out. in with Mount Pleasant Farm Manager Peter Gunther. The male. The, one? the male that we tagged. It's his signal. The owl that we tagged. Uh -huh. From his transmitter. So this will give you a direction, so you can kind of pinpoint where he's at, wherever it's oh. loudest. That's his noise. That, that's, yeah, that's, that's the transmitter, transmitter oh, giving the transmitter out the signal, out. yeah. Watch that. Point in different directions. So you can watch this needle, see how high it goes. And then you want to hold it straight to get a direction, because it's like directional. The team continues towards the source of the signal. As it gets stronger, the road gets rougher. Until it is time to continue the quest on foot. The Belize Mountain Pine Ridge habitat has been hit by both the southern pine bark beetle as well as subsequent intense wildfires, altering and opening the habitat. Dense stands of tiger fern now dominate the open areas. The team is very close now.
maybe we should go around a bit further away. Yeah. Yeah, he's right, right. There. All right. Let's get a look at it real quick. Yeah, I think it's that same spot where he was. Yeah. That, the bark does look exactly yeah, like Yeah, that's why I couldn't see him. Yeah, I could see him. Yeah, you can miss that. No problem. So we'll get around here. Stygian Owl 034 is expertly camouflaged for this roosting site. The fissured bark of this clethra tree is almost his same color and pattern. To avoid disturbing the owl, the team does not linger in the area. Ryan and Ronnie return that evening to observe the flight pattern of the male as he leaves the roost and to use him to attempt locating his mate and, perhaps, the nest. Gathering dusk, Stygian Owl 034 preens and prepares for a night of hunting. He begins to call. and in the near darkness takes off. Ryan and Ronnie continue to monitor and track the owl, hoping to locate the female. Same direction. So it's half game, no intimulating. Is it gone down or yeah, it dropped? Oh, it is away. Moving, flying in, coming in, coming in. Data on the owl's behavior and locations is recorded. Belize Raptor Research Institute Director Ryan Phillips. So, right now we're just Sitting here waiting for the female to start calling and the male hopefully coming in um, at about 5.30. Um, the male took off. He roosted really close to where we're at right now. And he took off towards where the female, where we think a nest is. So the whole point of us right now is to locate that nest. We don't know exactly where it's at, but we want to pinpoint it by um, following a male that we have radio tagged with the VHF transmitter. The female's not tagged, so we can't find exactly where the nest is from her. We need to use the male. So the female, when she's on the eggs, um, she'll do all the incubating. The male won't do any of the incubating. That we know of. The species we don't know much about. It's one of the least studied owls in the neotropical region, so we don't know much about them. 
but um, from what we do know, um, the female does all the incubating, the male will come in and feed her when she's on the nest. So he's probably out hunting right now, he's kind of moving from the telemetry, he's moving a little bit, but he's still within a couple hundred meters of us right here. So we're just waiting for him to come in, bring food to the female, she'll probably start calling, get excited, and then maybe we can locate the nest when she goes back down after the exchange of the prey. The next day, the team continues to search for the nest. And we covered Lankano line to Pine Rochito line mm -hmm. to the barrier. So we covered all that. So that's about three kilometers. Should get something in there. And then we worked our way back to my gate. All the way down, check signals all along here. So if it's anywhere in here and here, we should have gotten it. Yep. Unless it's deep in the drainage. And then we checked all along here, and then I got a signal on this this bird mm -hmm. from right here. So it was four kilometers away. Yeah. That's... So if you take that into consideration with this bird, mm -hmm. should have gotten it anywhere in this area. And then I went down to San Miguel Road, took signals all along here, and took signals here, nothing. So we covered basically an area like this. At least eight kilometers. So I mean that's a good portion of Mount Pine Ridge. Yeah. Unless they went up here. But I just don't see that happening. So that nest at the zoo was studied for one month in 1989. Oh that yeah. Twenty-two years ago. And there's no, they never published anything on it. It just had like one little paragraph. It was studied for a month, yeah. and it said that they feed primarily on bats. Yeah. They've been recorded in. Other raptors' nests, so stick nests up in trees, they've been recorded in natural cavities and then on the ground. In Belize, the only nest that's been found in Belize that was on the ground. The search continues the next night. In what is likely a successful adaptation for the survival of its species, the Stygian Owl nest site proves to be a difficult find. But after nearly three weeks of searching, the Belize Raptor Research Institute team successfully located what is only the second nest of the Stygian Owl for Belize. The nest was located on March 30, 2011 in a patch of tiger fern in Pine Oak Woodland and contained a single chick. Motion sensitive cameras and a remote video system were installed on the nest to monitor it until the chick fledges and to obtain critical information on breeding biology. The nest was monitored for two weeks. Because this was the first opportunity to record nestling data for this species, the chick was handled only for scientific purposes, weighed and measured for wing length and molt. A feather sample was collected to determine its sex. The chick successfully fledged on April 15th. <coughs> this is the first film ever taken of a Stygian owl chick in the wild being fed by its mother.
Through this radio telemetry, it was discovered that Stygian owls may not be the pine specialists they were once thought. One of the tagged males has been observed moving nearly 15 kilometers through broadly forest into farmlands, foraging for songbirds, bats, and insects before returning to its roost site in Pine Oak Forest. This map shows the movements of one of the male tagged Stygian owls. They may only nest and roost in pine oak or pine, but other habitats may be critical in their foraging ecology and survival when pine oak and pine habitat is lost. It is too early to determine if this is consistent across the population, but as more individuals are radio tagged and tracked, we will be able to unravel this mystery. Without the efforts and dedication of Ryan Phillips and Ronnie Martinez and the Belize Raptor Research Institute, the success of this project would not be possible.